corrected age and there was a question about what is post menstrual age so i'll try to explain that here so as you know prematurity is defined as a baby born less than 37 weeks up to 36 weeks and 6 days the duration of the gestation normally is expected to be 40 weeks and this is calculated from your last menstrual period so the actual duration of gestation is not related to when the conception actually happens it is when the fertilization happens but it's related to your last menstrual period sometimes you may have confirmation of the dates by an early scan as well so when we have 40 weeks as full term uh, when a baby comes out say at 24 or 26 or 28 weeks the baby is premature by that many weeks so uh, suppose a baby is born at 28 weeks, the baby is uh, 3 months or 12 weeks premature because we are taking 40 weeks as the uh, full term uh, gestation. When a baby is born at 32 weeks, it's 8 weeks premature, so roughly 2 months premature. When the baby is still in the NICU, we follow what is called the post menstrual age, and this is nothing but adding the number of days to the gestational age at birth. And if a baby is born at, say, 32 weeks and 2 days at birth, the second day the baby becomes 32 plus 4 days and after a week it becomes 33 plus 2 weeks. So this 33 plus 2 weeks is then the post menstrual age which is the date from the last menstrual period. When the baby reaches 40 weeks of post menstrual age, uh, you start taking it as corrected age of term. And when the baby's uh, subsequent age grows, you uh, calculate from that age. Suppose the corrected age of term is when the baby's two months old when the baby is four months old the corrected age is two months i explained in the short video about why we correct for the prematurity so this is because the premature baby has had uh, a lot of development happening outside the womb and the rate of development uh, is accordingly corrected so the uh, baby coming out early you expect the development to be uh, that because the brain maturation goes by the uh, gestational age so if a baby who is born at full term is expected to smile at say two, one to two months of age, the same premature baby born at uh, 28 weeks will be expected to smile at one to two months of corrected age, not the normal age. Because by the one to two months of normal age, the baby would still be in the NICU, baby would be just 32 to 36 weeks of maturity and we wouldn't expect the baby to smile. In the relatively more mature premature babies like the ones 33-34 weeks, the correction may or may not be needed, but we still offer the correction because you don't know which baby will be lagging behind, you don't want unnecessary anxiety. The other question comes up as to how long you correct for the prematurity. Uh, you can either follow the rule of 32 weeks and above, you correct up to one year, and 32 below 32 weeks, you correct correct up to two years. Normally we don't correct for prematurity beyond uh, uh, two years of age and we correct for the weight as well as uh, the development. The more important aspect is the development but of course the weight uh, and the height uh, have to be compared in terms of the corrected age because you plot the baby on the corrected age so you don't have undue expectations, you don't try to drive the baby to gain more than they need to. I did mention in the short video that you don't need to use the corrected age in terms of vaccination. So the two months set of vaccine is given when the preterm baby reaches two months. I'm talking two months because in the UAE it's administered at two months. In countries like India, it's given at six weeks. So you would still give it at six weeks. And subsequently, as per the gap due for the vaccine, uh, the weaning foods can be introduced at the normal age of six months, not the corrected age, however, the rate of progression would depend on the baby's ability because a premature baby may not be able to take it as well as a term baby. Sometimes their swallowing pattern may need support. So in that case, you would adjust the rate of uh, giving the solids, especially the texture change as per the baby's ability to take. I hope uh, this helps and uh, if you have any questions, do share in the comments. Thank you.